As the sun rises, residents of Caracas wake up to a distinctive sound. They are macaws, members of the parrot family, more commonly found in the rainforests of Central and South America. Each morning, Carmen Borges cuts bananas and picks sunflower seeds to feed her feathered friends. She says they have been visiting her every day since she moved to Caracas 11 years ago. And even though she is afraid of heights, when the macaws arrive on her terrace, her fears disappear. With everything that we're going through with Venezuela's economic crisis, it's always nice to hear and see the macaws flying free, coloring the skies. They represent peace, and we're privileged to have them. Carmen's neighbor, Mabel, a professional photographer, says she never tires of taking photos of the colorful birds which make the city a unique place to live. They represent the beauty of this city. They are freedom. Spending time with them helps us to be connected with nature in the middle of a big city. Many of the macaw varieties that fly over the city are classified as endangered species. Protected by a near 3,000-meter-high mountain known as the Avila, Caracas is in many ways a huge cosmopolitan jungle. For its residents, that means the daily spectacle of macaws coloring the city's skyline. And they can thank Victorio Poggi for helping create that view. He is known locally as the protector of macaws. When he moved from Italy 40 years ago, a macaw flew in his window and it was love at first sight. Since then, he has dedicated his life to freeing all of the city's captive macaws. Caracas is full of macaws, and this is a privilege, because very few countries have them. They are spectacular birds, which visit everyone's houses in the city. They bring happiness in the darkest times. Macaws are considered somewhat docile creatures, and conservationists are concerned that Venezuela's deep economic crisis could move people to trap and sell them for money. The Caracas residents we spoke with hope that doesn't happen and want to maintain this unique relationship with their colorful friends, ensuring the Venezuelan capital remains a haven for macaws for generations to come. Juan Carlos Lamas, CGT in Caracas.